Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, The Fish Tank Hobbyist here. I know it's long overdue, haven't done a tank update for a while now. The tank's going on two years, and that's really not the focus of today's video, although we could take a quick look. Corals have been doing well. Uh, I'm going to take a look here at the, some of that, but today's main focus is actually going to be on a ruby red dragonette that I recently picked up and I got it eating pellets so I'm looking forward to showing you that here's my quarantine setup I actually just use some big jars and I put the ruby red in quarantine I got some TDO pellets from reef nutrition and uh, I've been pretty much just like showering this little chamber I made which you're gonna see here in a second um, I used uh, actually a little container that we got soup out of from one of the Chinese uh, restaurants when we got to go. And I put a, like, in that mason jar, it actually fit it perfectly uh, as a little soup container. And I cut out the sides and put some mesh lining in it. And the reason I did that was to uh, be able to keep the ruby red dragonette confined into an area which I would just litter with TDO pellets for the first week or so. And of course, um, that last little segment, I was getting a little bit of water in this little container and putting some TDO in it. And the TDO, I was actually really surprised how aggressive that the ruby red dragonette went after it. It took it a couple days, but I just kept putting this uh, TDO, the TDO pellets in the uh, container that I had made. And I'd let it set for a while, and eventually at the end of the day, I'd suck out what it didn't eat. And, and I was putting a lot in it, just hoping to get it to sample some of it. And I think that was part of it. Once I got it to sample it, um, you know, and it figured out it was food, then it was pretty much my work had been done at that point it got it understood that that was food and that's what it's uh what i'm putting in there and it kind of warmed up to this little uh, deal that i've been is an acrylic tube that i've been using to put the uh, food in there the pellets in there with it kind of warmed up to it but it's still a little skittish um that little polyfill right there i showed you a little clip of that that was so when i have the bubblers going because i use this as a quarantine tank just with some air bubbles um it's so it doesn't actually uh, it helps with like spill out of the tank it would actually overflow there and then kind of get onto the mason jar at any rate that's why that polyfill is there um but you'll see here this ruby red dragonette just starts chomping down these tdo pellets and again it took a couple days but um you'll see it starting to to get to it, I think I saw it at least catch or suck up about five pellets here in this little segment. It's kind of hard to see, but here in a second, we'll zoom in closer. And also, it was, like I say, it's still a little bit skittish when I'm around. So I just left my camera right on top of the lid there. And I walked away for a while um, so that it would feel more comfortable when it doesn't see a person around. I've been doing water changes and stuff like that on this. Um, little jar tank that I've got going on just from the standpoint of the ammonia and stuff building up and don't want to get it you know have the water qualities being so bad for it so I've been doing uh, water changes and it seems it really doesn't like it after a water change it seems like it's it's almost like it's putting it in brand new from the uh, LFS um, when you do a water change because when you do that with this container that I built um, it's almost like transferring it to a different tank so every time I do a water change I do about once a week it kind of gets a little skittish and I was like starting over but there you go you see it taking a pellet there and it's going to take a few more pellets I think it takes about five of these and I'll, we'll zoom in here shortly um, so you can see it but that's how I've been training it training I just put a bunch of pellets in that little container and I've got the container to cut out with the mesh on the side you can kind of see that on the top left um, I just cut it out and hot, actually hot glued that mesh in there so that way the water could keep flowing through but here's a little close up 
so you can kind of see it eating those pellets. And I'm going to be quiet here for the rest of this video. If this video helped you out, you can go ahead and help me out by liking my channel and subscribing and liking this video. And don't hesitate to send me any questions if you have any. All right, I'll see you later. Bye.